Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Thank you so much for joining me today. For today's video, I have my first wash day post relaxer routine. Um, this is what I do every time after I get a relaxer and this is my, my routine to make my hair super healthy, moisturize, and at its strongest and best after getting a relaxer. Um, yeah, I think that's really all I have to say. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I upload two times a week. Um, and if you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to hit that little bell because it notifies you every time I upload, as well as like this video if you like relaxed hair videos. I know a lot of you guys do. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into my routine. Hey guys, so I always do a pre-poo treatment once I am post, um, well, no matter how many weeks post relaxer I am, I usually do a pre-poo treatment every other week. Um, my hair just loves pre-poo treatments. So, um, post relaxer, a week post relaxer, um, wash day, I do a pretty heavy protein treatment just because I want to strengthen my hair before I get the relaxer. So I usually use, like, the hair mayonnaise, um, or something like that, something that's like really, really like heavy protein. But once I am post relaxer, once I do have a relaxer, um, I like to use kind of a more lighter protein treatment. And my hair really likes this um, Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. Um, I have a review on this already on my channel on um, this whole line, the shampoo, conditioner, as well as this. So. This is what I use. I just take a little bit of this into a bowl and um, I mix in some of my favorite oils and stuff like that. I am currently two weeks post relaxer, if you guys are wondering. I usually um, wash my hair um, two weeks after my relaxer just because I feel like my hair has had time to kind of relax and get its life together, you know. Um, I used to wash my hair like uh, one week like exactly after my relaxer and I found that my hair just kind of um, Wasn't as straight, you know, so I just I almost look at this <laughs> Oh God, and I just had breakfast. So this is funny. I add a little bit of jojoba oil to my bowl I'll show you guys once I'm done um I add some castor oil. I'm just trying to use up this castor oil before I get another one. Um, I prefer Jamaican black castor oil, of course, but I'm just trying to use this up, this one up before I go ahead and become like a product junkie, you know. I use some of this hair density serum from Grow Gorgeous. I really love this stuff. I do put this in my hair sometimes throughout the week as well, just because it's just really nice. It does help your hair grow. So I do two droplets of that and then I also add just like a little bit of olive oil this is like the mixture of all of these oils so I'm just gonna go ahead and add the rest of this that I have in this little squeezy bottle to this as well um, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the protein treatment because I know that this isn't gonna cover my whole head and I put this on my whole head if I didn't tell you guys already um, and I just used to scoop out the end of my um, comb here. My hair is detangled and it's really itchy because it's super dirty. So we're just going to go ahead and get into this. I wish I had something else to mix this with, but this will do for now. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I don't want to drop it all over my floor because my mom will be pissed. <laughs> but um... I'm just going to go ahead and mix this all up. And this is like the perfect amount of protein for my hair, like I said, because um, my hair, um, it's not the biggest fan of protein, but it definitely, I mean, your hair still needs it no matter what your hair likes and doesn't like. Um, my hair definitely likes moisturizing things a little bit better. So that's just my thing. I already have this on my hands, so let me just, I'll just place it on my edges. So I'm just going to split my hair into four sections. Um, and then just, let me split my hair in half. And then put this section up out of the way. I found another clip, guys. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I had a struggle bus when it came to, like, 
um, clips because I just always forget to buy them at the store and it's just not a good time. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my head. Um, no really rhyme or reason to it and then just braid up my hair just makes it easier for me to wash it when I get in the shower and I will be right back to show you guys what shampoo and conditioner that I use in the shower. Alrighty guys, my pre-poo is all in my hair, so I'm just going to let this sit for probably about an hour or so, and then I'm going to go ahead and wash and condition my hair, and yeah, I'll show you guys that once I come back. I'm not going to show you guys me washing and conditioning my hair because you guys have seen me wash my hair 40 times, so yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back and I'll show you guys once I'm done. Alright guys, hi. I am back. I am fresh out of the shower. I just finished washing my hair. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I forgot to bring it to show you guys. I'm so sorry. But it was the um, Clean Nature Arg Argan Oil um, shampoo that I mentioned in my favorite um, shampoos that um, I just recently uploaded. But it is the same one from this line. So it just looks just like this. Um, I'm trying to use moisturizing um, ingredients when I am post relaxer because my hair can feel a little bit dry and just need some TLC. So I'm taking the um, intense conditioning treatment from this line. Um, I am going to have a review of this up on my channel probably next weekend so I don't want to get too in depth with um, this so um, just stay tuned for that video if you want to see my thoughts on this particular line. You guys already know I love the leave-in conditioner spray from this line. I'm going to take that and a little bit more of this castor oil that I have and just place this in as well and mix those two together with nothing that I have to mix anything with. So I'm just going to have to use my finger but that's fine. So I'm just going to go ahead split my hair in half and apply this to my head as per usual. Um, the pre-poo made my hair super soft and super duper easy to manage. Um, I haven't detangled yet because I haven't put in any conditioner in my hair, like I said. So I'm just going to mix this around with my finger. It's 
smells so good. I love the scent of this line. I just got a whole bunch in my ear. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and apply this throughout my head and I'll show you guys when I'm done. Alrighty guys, so all of the conditioner is in my hair. I'm just going to go ahead and sit with this probably for about 15 to 20 minutes in my hair. Then go ahead and rinse everything out and I will be back to show you guys what I'm looking like. I feel like I have had like 7 outfit changes in this video. But I am done with my deep conditioner. I went ahead and rinsed it out in the shower. I just want to go ahead and give you guys a little look at what my hair is looking like. This is actually going to be the end of this video because I'm going to show you guys how I have been air drying my hair, which is something which is a little bit new for me, but I'm super excited. So I detangled when I washed out the conditioner, but I'll just show you guys um, how I detangle um, when I'm about to air dry and then I'm going to cut this off and go ahead and film that video for you guys Which will most likely be Wednesday's video, which I'm super excited about knocking two videos out in one day So I'm just gonna go ahead and comb this through This is the comb I'm using. I love this comb so much being super gentle because my hair is super fragile when it's wet but it's already pretty much detangled because I did it when I was rinsing out the conditioner. So I kept the conditioner in for like a half an hour actually because I got caught up cleaning. I just had this overwhelming like OCD moment of needing to clean. So that happens pretty often to me on Sundays. Um, so I just went ahead and cleaned my bathroom. Got everything looking nice. And yeah. So I was just t-shirt drying as you guys saw. So this is how my hair looks. I'll turn around and show you guys what it's looking like. It's super moisturized, super duper hydrated, and it just feels so, so good. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel down below if you're not already. What other videos would you guys like to see? I really want to get back into makeup videos. I miss them a lot. If you guys would like me to do some makeup tutorials, definitely let me know down below and I will do that for you guys. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have part two to this video link down below when it goes live, which is how I air dry my hair. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you in my next one very soon. Love you girls. Mwah. Bye.